Yo, what is up? It is Aragotic here with a video. So, we're level 52, and I realize that, you know, just like always, that I'm hitting a wall. Every single time I say I gotta do this one more thing, and you know, I've done a few of those things. However, one thing that I've skimped out on as a free-to-play, because I'm always so um, reservative uh, about it, or conservative. Reservative? Is that, a, is that even a word? Um, conservative, nonetheless, is summoning. So... Basically, if we look at my summoning from the get-go, I have 151 summons right now, and I have the daily one. Uh, I'm going to burn through them. I'm going to burn through every single one of them, I think. Uh, I want to see what I can get for options, and going forward, what kind of content I can really tackle. Because I'm, I'm definitely like, I've got half of teams for each type of content but I'm missing those fully rounded situations. I can't really hone in on anything to the end part of it. Um, and you know, I, 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 summoning is fun. It's, it, it's been a long time since I've summoned it. You know, it's just, I don't need a reason. Okay, I'm not gonna need to explain myself. Anyways, we'll start off with two, uh, one pull so that we're down to 150 exactly. And then we're gonna do 10 times after that. It looks like chance to get a legendary hero from the next summon at the bottom says 1% plus 7.5%. So I don't know if that means, uh, uh, rate increases by 1% for every subsequent summon. So what does that mean that I'm at 91 summons right now? I, I think that's what it means. And then plus 7.5%. You see, I don't know which number I'm supposed to go by because it says 1%, but then where's the one seven point five? And I'm, yeah, I'm not gonna, oh, wait, wait, wait. Then the drop rate for legendary heroes increases by 0 0.5 for every subsequent. You know what, whatever. We're at something, all right? We're at something. Uh, so first free summon. I'm gonna click because it's gonna be legendary 100%. Okay, Elson. Um, Next. Oh, we can't click past this one. What is this? Andre. Okay. Um, I actually haven't seen this one. We don't really need more water. Like, I think I've said this every single video now. Um, my water roster is the only thing I even have going for myself. So let's, I want to look at Andre really quick and that's something that's going to be a problem. So I, I'm going to have to look back at each of what these are. So let's go to, it was an epic. Uh, Andre, where are you? Here you are. What do you do? Um, if this character has rage, then grants 30% crit damage. If not, then attacks have a 50% chance to reduce their ultimate ability cooldown by one turn. That's their ultimate. Um, deals 200% damage to enemy and grants plus two rage, plus one rage per critical strike. Counters any at enemy attempt to inflict a negative effect with a total dispel granting plus one rage. Deals 50% damage to an enemy if this character has rage. So he's pretty angry is what I'm getting from him. He's a very angry blue armored man. Okay, let's start doing 10 times though. Let's see what we can get. All right, first 10 times. You can't click past it, so at least an epic, right? Or does or is ten times different? Ten times looks like it's different. Okay. Um those are those are, you know, champions. We're gonna just pretend that the first ten times again. And okay, at least an epic. Santas, okay. I'm okay with that. Yo. <laughs> Yo, let's go. Misfortune with a sword. Okay, so something that I absolutely love is pirates. Uh, the pirate themes and everything, I just I absolutely... I love. So this is actually something that's pretty cool. I, I don't usually actually get too excited about pulls, but this is one that right off the bat, like... yeah. It's just, she's awesome. And she's she's red petals and stuff like that. It'd be better if she was blue, but like you can't really make a blue pirate or and stuff. You can't make like the, the you know, it, it, you know, the aesthetic. But I actually have never looked at what she does. Um, I don't even know if she's good, but she is earth, grass, wood, whatever you want to call it. Um, 
Okay, so her trait, uh, plus one rage per valid hit on an enemy, max rage is four. So every time she hits, she gains her rage. Converts all rage into a bonus attack with artillery support upon artillery support. That sounds kind of cool. What is that? Artillery support deals 40 to 60% damage to all enemies. Her attack is S as well. B, speed. Okay, I don't know how much the speed matters. I, like, I know the speed matters a lot. Um, but I'm not sure, like, comparably how she's going to run with other against others. Uh, her ascension effects, each hit on an enemy grants one rage to this character, max four rage. At max rage, and after using artillery support to get a bonus attack, there's a 50% chance to expend all rage and apply defense down for two rounds. Okay, so defense down, great, um, is it defense round? Defense down, I'm assuming that's one, actually. So I'm not sure... Again, I don't know the numbers, so I'm not sure if defense down at one to two, what the huge difference is between the two, but nonetheless, let's quickly get through this. Um, it deals 60% damage to an enemy with a 15% chance to apply bleeding for two turns if affected by attack up. Then launches a bonus attack with gunfire, which is pretty cool. At the end of the turn, deals damage based on attack, yeah, bleeding. Um, deals 80% damage. This is her basic. This is also basic. Interesting. Um, deals 80% damage to an enemy and removes a positive effect from the target if affected by attack up, then launches a bonus attack. So you want to keep attack up on her. What's her ultimate? Does it give it? Deals 120 to 160% damage to all enemies and grants attack up to this character for three turns. Three turns. Okay, so her ultimate goes off. And it's a five cool... Five, five cool. I can't even speak. I, I actually love the aesthetic of this character. Okay, so even if you find this video and she's the worst ever, just tell me like, oh my gosh, she's the best ever. S smile. Um, there's three turns, five turn cooldown. So there's only gonna be a two turns that you don't even have it, and you're going to follow it up with a three turn and then basic so you're gonna go right down the list so she's just a self buffer and she just she goes at it and she's absolutely beautiful i'm happy about our first legendary let's see if we can get another one or at least a good epic santis i was starting to say um i'm i i did build her up to 60 i her build's probably not the best but she is 60 so having the awakening materials is gonna be good so i don't have to uh or ascension yeah whatever all right, next 10 times. I can't skip it. But again, I you know what? That didn't matter before. So I don't know why I'm saying that. But we at least got an epic. Uh, right off the bat, Urzag. Okay. Urzag. I got him to 50. He was actually one of my first epics. Kyle? I haven't seen him. I haven't looked at Kyle yet. Scarlet? Okay. I haven't seen her either. I don't know what she does. Uh, okay, but I wanted to say quickly, Urzag, he was one of my first 50s, and I thought he was really cool, his ideas sounded cool, I didn't really know much about the game yet, and I don't know if he is, if what other people's opinion really is, but I'm not a fan. I couldn't even get myself to put him past, uh, 50, it just, even though he was an early epic, he just, the whole lower health thing, but anyways, let, we gotta go quickly with these at times. Kyle, okay. Trait. Attacks on character reduce the cooldown on their ultimate ability by one turn. Can only be triggered once per round. Attacks on this character reduce the cooldown on their ultimate. So every time he gets attacked, his cooldown on his ultimate. So that must be a long ultimate. Oh, there it is. Time to cooldown. Shape shifts into the targeted enemy for two turns. Immediately grants one bonus turn. Well, see, is it a bonus turn if the only part of it is the fact that he turns into the enemy? It feels like that's... And it, it just means that he, okay, whatever. Plus another turn at the end of the round. Okay, so is that, I guess that's kind of a bonus turn round, right? Shapeshift does not work against bosses or elite units. Um, Counterattacks when attacked, dealing 35% damage with a 30% chance to apply silence for one turn. Uh, that's pretty good. 30% chance to apply. Deals 60% damage to an enemy with a 50% chance. I, okay, so because he's water, I'll be honest with you, I don't, I'm not too interested in his kit. It's kind of whatever. He looks, he looks okay. I actually, his design is pretty cool. Um, but not, not quite feeling it, my dude. Not quite feeling it. Now, Scarlet, on the other hand, she looks pretty cool. Fire, we need more fire. I think, what do we have? We only have, um, 
the one that you can fuse i didn't or the one yeah the one that's free um that's an epic so uh and connor it was, as a healer but we haven't really put too much effort into him either uh trait scarlet is accompanied by her wolf at the start of battle the wolf deals 30 percent damage to the target with a 50 percent chance to apply bleeding for two turns wolf deals 50 percent damage when ascended all enemies take 50 percent more damage from bleeding okay scarlet hmm a little bit confused there i all enemies take 50 percent. is that only from the first turn which maybe the second turn as well or is that throughout the entire round every time um at the start of battle that is her basic attack deals 40 percent damage to an enemy with a 50 percent chance to apply bleeding for two turns so she's very good on bleeds which i assume bleeding is probably really good against bosses but again i haven't really built bleeding um i've built poison a little bit but then again i don't really I haven't fully pushed again because we don't have teams that fully surround things. We're missing epics. We're missing really good um, built-up elites. We're, and we don't even really have any uh, Legos either because we just haven't been pulling. Um, any attacks against an enemy uh, affected by bleeding triggers a bonus wolf attack. It transfers lethal damage against this character to any wolves present. Uh, deals 105% total damage to an enemy and a three-pronged attack. Each strike of which has either a 100%, 50%, or 30% chance to apply bleeding for two turns. Summons one wolf if no wolves are present. Five-turn cooldown. Okay, I like that. She's like a, she's like wolves and bleeds, and she looks... Her design is awesome. Yeah, I, I always love the fur coats and stuff like that, except, you know, it's kind of... That was... It's probably fake. It's definitely not from one of her own wolves right she, she, she wanted she wouldn't take the fur of one of her would she I, now i don't know is that some hidden uh little easter egg she actually they disappear because she's taking their fur after. okay anyways let's continue all right dude listen we have gone through what 32 summons and i've barely even scratched the surface so maybe i will actually break this into two videos just because i don't want it to be 40 minutes long of me just talking because i don't know the characters but we at least got an epic let's see marion shadow blood okay we followed up with another legendary she's uh she's water but you know i i'll take it legendary is a legendary am i right but dark and light they're really good for um i think pdp is what i heard right she might not be but look at her she's so cool um and uh you know she's got um she's got good battle armor it's a good design i think that uh did a pretty good job on that she's average all across the board let's see grants this character a 30 percent chance of launching a joint attack alongside the attack of any ally that's that's actually really cool so she just constantly has extra attacks with people with uh i assume basic because that's always how it works so deals 40 percent damage to enemy plus true damage equals a two percent of the target's max health one percent damage based on health increased Okay, so three um, moves all negative effects, deals seventy percent damage to an enemy after healing by thirty percent. Okay, so she's got kind of like a like a vampire esque effect. Um, unholy redemption, thirty percent attack, thirty percent life steal. I didn't even know that was a buff, honestly. Um, uh, deals eighty percent damage to all enemies, plus true damage equal to eight percent of the targets. Jeez, wait. This is actually probably good for arena because i see a lot of defenses that are full tanks so that she's probably decent against them yeah and she's good against all types because she's dark um max health applies on holy redemption which is the life steal and stuff like that um and then it goes up to 50 percent attack and 40 percent life steal and that's two turns that's really good six turn cooldown so it's only gonna be used one time in in arena and i don't know if it's good elsewhere i just know that they're good for that um also i don't know what lydia does kind of cool entry she looks kind of cool um phantom dodge plus 20 percent grants 20 percent dodge plus a bonus 20 percent dodge if this character is blue okay so she's good at the do just possibly dodging completely 
accuracy down from her basic very good i believe uh 100 damage okay uh passive okay i actually like when there's a passive in the middle because then it's very straightforward upon dodging counter attacks to deal 140 damage if this ability lands a critical slurry damage ignores 50 percent of defense which goes up to 200 percent upon dodging that seems pretty decent because her dodge is what i see i i don't know if that adds 20 percent or if it's saying it's still 20 percent. but either way 20 percent dodge so every like one out of five turns or so on a four turn cooldown up to 200 percent damage and it's just gonna be 200 percent damage otherwise um I read this come she's just got 200 she's just she just does damage i'm, I'm reading i'm just like 200 percent. geez all right well nonetheless she does damage i don't know how she is she's water it makes me hesitant to invest in her immediately but at the same time she is legendary so you know it's kind of it's kind of like why wouldn't i right okay another 10 times let's see how it goes we've been really lucky so far i believe like we've got an epics we got a dark we got a legendary we got two, another legendary um let's see where we're going from here and another legendary okay goo bag i do know what he does because i have seen him quite a bit and you face him as well in uh campaigns and stuff like that quickly just run over him though uh one bonus turn per round per 150 speed plus 10 percent. so he just keeps on getting bonus turns if you have a lot of speed you're gonna want to build him speed he's s speed uh deals 40 percent damage to an enemy this attack has a 30 percent chance to ignore 50 percent of the targets and grant 10 speed again just speed from basic uh special uh poison plus one poison for two deals 80 percent damage to an enemy plus poison for two turns with a 30 percent chance of an extra poison for two turns and 10 speed again speed um ultimate deals with a total of two 10 percent damage to a random selection of enemies damage scales with this character's speed again so all i'm gonna have to do is very straightforward i'm assuming he probably uses speed i'm I, I, that's just my assumption from first hand i because i haven't looked at his skills specifically but i know i knew what he did um but yeah you know he probably uses some speed so we'll we'll, we'll look into that jeez though are these how the rates are meant to be why am i not doing 10 times all the time i mean you just you get a legendary every time yay eh? <laughs> i think we've used up our luck though we at least got an epic here though lordric okay i like the dwarves aesthetic i don't know what he does but melissa uh okay it's uh i know what she does too i mean she's she might be good but i didn't like her um anyways uh if this character has any negative effects restores 10 percent of health okay so that sounds pretty good um 30 percent attack down deals 70 percent damage to one enemy and applies attack down for one turn okay um removes all control effects uh when this character affected by control wait removes all control effects from this character when this character is affected by control effects and there is a 50 percent chance to use an ultimate ability to counter attack can be triggered once every turn so that goes up to 100 percent chance to use an ability ultimate ability to counter attack so what is his ultimate deals 100 percent damage to all enemies and then removes one positive effects from targets damage skills with his character's max health yo this sounds like a really good low speed of full defense, I'd assume, and health arena defense. You might be good elsewhere. I'm not sure, but it sounds really good with um my other water guy. Uh, you know, he he's um he has an ice shield. I <laughs> all right, no, another ten times. I want to keep this video under twenty um right now we're at 17 or so 18 maybe but we got another epic hit a chris green we need more grass type wood type what does he do though he looks so cool yo these this session these characters are so cool i've just tried to avoid looking at characters because i don't want to i didn't want to risk wanting to summon but geez them uh, grants holy punishment for one turn if no damage was taken in the previous turn otherwise grants holy protection for one turn okay so if no damage was taken 
grants holy punishment which increases damage and then if he did take damage he gets reduced damage okay i'm not sure what the percent is but it is ascension which we do have epic ascension materials if we really want to um goes to two so i'll have to look at the numbers on that but basic deals 80 percent damage to an enemy with a 100 percent chance to remove one of their positive effects 30 percent chance to launch a bonus attack on all enemies that's some that sounds good it really does Removes all negative effects on this character heals for 15 percent max health and grants a bonus turn yo that's on every three turns he just heals himself for 20 percent of his max health or can this be put on other people no it's, it's on him it has to be on him that wouldn't make sense otherwise but his health is low that's something i need to keep in mind it might not be as great as i'm thinking um this character will not take any damage deals 90 percent damage to all enemies deals 120 percent actually to all enemies and grants invincible to this character for one turn every five turns okay so he's annoying um basically he becomes invulnerable then heals invulnerable then heals all right let's do one more 10 times that'll bring us to the halfway mark or so of our summons and then i can follow this up with another one after i invest in a couple of the heroes because this has got me really excited about playing the game um all right last 10 times let's see what we get that's okay that's okay we have had such good luck that it's okay to end on that it, it might be a little bit of a uh you know yeah you know just uh oh crap i accidentally hit the that's so unfortunate oh well at least we end on an epic at least <laughs> am i right oh uh, nithalia wonderful i use her everywhere having an extra ascension to her is not gonna be a bad thing as well as azarina which i also use she's the one i was trying to think of earlier azarina okay great end to the video i love this all right so a lot of characters and now i gotta figure out what type of teams i need to be investing in a lot of pop-ups but not nearly as much as of other some of the other mobile games that people play alongside this one um but anyways thank you for you know hanging out uh checking out the video i apologize for going so long and also lying at the very start of the video about how long many summons were doing i didn't realize how long the summons were going to take me honestly i was expecting no epics and no no legendaries to like about 70. i didn't know how the rates were um Although I think we got really lucky with the rates. There's no way we haven't. That's That was an insane summon session. Uh, again, thank you for checking me out. I hope you have a wonderful day. Stay safe out there. Um, much love. And no matter where you are in the world, just remember that someone out there cares about you and that someone is me. But also, you know, you, there's probably someone else as well. So, all right. I love you. Have a good day. Bye.